Guys, in the last videos, we have looked at antifungal drugs. <clears throat> we looked at the different types of fungal infections. We looked at the drugs, the classification, the main ones are amphotericin B, nistatin, fluconazole, itraconazole and voriconazole. These are like first line of drugs for systemic fungal infections or systemic mycosis. Okay, so uh, what does this amphotericin B do? Amphotericin B actually, it makes the cell membrane leak. Okay, that is how it works. Even this nistatin, harmycin, all these three are same. They make the cell membrane leak. Now let us look at the details about these azoles. In this video, we want to look at the details of azoles, guys. Azoles like um, ketoconazole. Main in exam, they will ask you ketoconazole. So you should know everything about it. So first of all, if they give you azole or if they mention fluconazole in the exam, please know first of all what azoles are. Azoles are antifungal drugs. There are two types, imidazole, triazole. Imidazole, you can again further divide as topical and systemic. Topical will be clotrimazole, iconazole, miconazole, oxyconazole. Systemic will be ketoconazole. Remember, ketoconazole is systemic. Remember, it is systemic. And triazoles are also systemic. Fluconazole, itraconazole and voriconazole. In systemic mycosis, these are first line of drugs. We have already seen all this. You remember this table where we saw that fluconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole, all are first line of drugs, even amphotericin B is first line of drug. This statin is the first line of drug for vaginal candidiasis. Got it right? So, these conazoles, all these azoles are very, very, very important. Let's move on. So, how does amphotericin B work? My cell membrane leakage. How do, how do azoles work? Let us look at azoles. See, azoles, again, just highlighting here, where in all azole is their first choice of drug for systemic mycosis. Fluconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole, so many places. Second choice, ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is very toxic, so it has become second choice, okay, for these uh, drugs, for these uh, diseases. But ketoconazole is prototype drug. You should know everything about it. It will come for exam. Mechanism of action of azoles. What do they actually do? Azoles impair ergosterol synthesis by inhibiting some enzymes. So there is no sterol. Ergosterol won't be there. So what will happen if ergosterol is not there? Azoles are going to inhibit. See this minus sign here. So this minus sign indicates that it will not allow conversion of lanosterol to ergosterol. Fine. Looks like this again leads to some membrane problem only. Okay. Cell membrane itself will have issue. Okay. So let's just see where we are and what we are doing. We are reading about azoles. We are seeing some mechanism, how useful, how important it is. Now let us move on to ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is represented as KTZ. Okay, KTZ. I think there's some bike like KTM, right? But is this KTZ? So it's a prototype azole. So you should know more about this. It's a prototype drug. It can be used orally or topically, but it is so toxic. It is the most toxic azole. So it is used only topically. It is used, so mostly it is used topically. See, look at this ketoconazole cream. Look at this ketoconazole shampoo. Guys, I have used the shampoo. Bring to front. I have used the shampoo. Whenever there's itchy scalp, na, and it doesn't go by normal means, they give this kind of shampoo. And it really did, did help me. Tablets, we will make it very small because it's not at all used. Let us see where in all ketoconazole has been uh, used in systemic mycosis. Cosidioidomycosis and blastomycosis. Ketoconazole. Nowhere else I am seeing in systemic infection. Because it is very toxic. Let's move on guys. 
a small wake up call for you we are studying antifungal drugs in that we are studying azoles in that ketoconazole okay woke up <laughs> okay now let us go back here see ketoconazole can be given topically or orally it is useful in both dermatophytosis and deep mycosis that is superficial and systemic infections as it is toxic it is given main, uh, mainly it is given topically it is a broad spectrum antifungal drug these points are clear shall we move on guys there is so much more that we have to read about ketoconazole ketoconazole there is mechanism of action pharmacokinetics adverse effects uses etc this ketoconazole no guys it has lot of drug interactions also so there's lots to know so this ketoconazole what it does orally no if you give it is absorbed very well because this gastric acid in the stomach it allows the absorption lower ph it gets absorbed well however we are not giving it much orally that much you remember right and also you know one more thing if you give it along with orally you give and you I'll give it along with uh, a, like uh, antihistaminics or uh, any uh, proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and all that it will not work ketoconazole won't work because it needs the acid to get orally absorbed that is the only reason you need to know this i think orally absorbed in stomach just to confuse you here one question i'll ask you do you know what methimazole is check it check it in your google see guys methimazole carbimazole these are not azole uh, these are thioamides okay these are anti thyroid drugs carbimazole methimazole similarly cotrimoxazole is anti anti uh, bacterial okay so please just remember don't get confused with so many azoles okay. let's just put an warning here methimazole carbimazole these are anti thyroid drugs carbimazole methimazole similarly antibacterial are cotrimoxazole don't get confused okay okay what else it is has it has uh, dose dependent elimination so elimination of ktz is dose dependent it is an enzyme inhibitor it is an enzyme inhibitor so it will increase the effect of other drugs you should be very careful okay what else guys this much is enough for now i think in the next video we will continue more now let us see what we have studied so far in this video we were trying to look at azole azoles as antifungal drugs so first of all you should know the details of the drugs we have imidazole and triazole okay actually these triazoles are more important so imidazoles and triazoles we have triazoles are more important they have replaced the ketoconazole etc and they have become the first line drugs these triazoles are very important now uh, ketoconazole is a prototype drug it can be given orally or topically but as it is very toxic it is given topically actually amphotericin b is even more toxic than ketoconazole but hence ketoconazole is less toxic than amphotericin b however still it is preferred topically it then what and all you came to know about this ketoconazole it if you give it orally what will happen it will get absorbed it will get absorbed very well because it likes this acidic ph let's go back to our ketoconazole slide these ketoconazoles they are uh, okay they are useful in both dermatophytosis and deep mycosis that is superficial and deep fungal infections they are broad spectrum antifungal drug they are broad spectrum antifungal drug okay right it loves the acidic ph in the stomach and it will get absorbed well it has a dose dependent elimination it is an enzyme inhibitor we will look at more information in the next video what and all we will see ketoconazole uses 
drug interactions, adverse effects. Uses, adverse effects and drug interactions we will see. Okay. Come back for the next video. Bye, bye, bye.